I'm Bill with Tandem Cross, making good guns great. One of our most successful product lines is our Cornerstone line of safety thumb wedges, which we offer for several of the most popular 22 lr firearms. The Smith & Wesson Victory, the kel CP33 and other kel guns, and the Ruger Mark IV 2245. We've gotten a lot of feedback about them too, and one of the most common responses has been, why just the 2245? Why not the standard Mark IV too? Well, they're similar guns, but they're different enough that the same part won't work for both. And since the 2245 is a little bit more popular in the competitive shooting scene, which is our main market demographic, we figured we should go for that one first. It made sense. You gotta have priorities. But, Mark IV shooters, we still love you. We hear your cries. We're here for you. Introducing the Cornerstone Safety Thumb Ledge for the standard Ruger Mark IV. Like all our Cornerstones, it's a 1911 style thumb ledge safety that replaces the stock safety switch. It's made from anodized aluminum and it improves your hand placement for better grip and control. It also doesn't modify the internals in any way, which makes it a simple drop-in installation. If you've installed a 2245 Cornerstone before, this is going to look very familiar because the process is 100% identical. The parts aren't identical though. They look very similar, but the shaft on the Mark IV standard Cornerstone is a little bit shorter. If you try to install the wrong part, it will become apparent very quickly that something's not right. But we don't want you to even get to that point. So please be careful, look before you leap, make sure you're buying the right thing so that everything goes smoothly. With that in mind, here is how to install the Cornerstone on your standard Ruger Mark IV. To do this install, you will need a 3 seconds Allen wrench and a 1 16th Allen wrench and an empty magazine. You'll also need the spacer that should have come with your pistol that's used to remove the ambidextrous safety. If you don't have it, contact Ruger and they can help you get one. To begin, as always, make sure your firearm is clear and safe. Then remove the upper by pressing the takedown button. Next, use the 3 seconds Allen wrench to remove the grip panels. Now, grab your empty magazine, insert it, Set the safety to fire and pull the trigger to slowly drop the hammer. Eject the mag, then use the 1 16th Allen wrench to remove the right side safety switch. There's a little screw right on there that you can just unscrew and it will come right off. Set that aside. Now when you remove that screw, you will see the end of the left side safety paddle shaft. Use the 3 seconds Allen wrench to push the stock safety out of the left side of the frame and leave the Allen wrench inside the body to hold the parts all together. When you remove the stock safety paddle, be careful not to lose the spring and detent that sits in this little hole in the back of it. Set it somewhere safe, you will need it later. Now grab your new cornerstone and line its shaft up with the Allen wrench. Push the Allen wrench out as you push the new cornerstone in. Stop short before it's all the way in and pull the Allen wrench out. Grab your spring and detent from before and replace them in the little hole on the rear of the cornerstone. Without this spring and detent, the safety will not be able to noticeably click on and off, so you definitely don't want to forget it. Now 
Once the spring and detent are back in, you use a tool such as one of your Allen wrenches. To lift the safety plate up slightly so that the stud on the cornerstone can slide past it. Now you should be able to push your cornerstone all the way into the frame. Grab that spacer and place it over the end of the safety shaft that's now sticking slightly out of the right side of the frame. Screw it down with the screw that you removed from there earlier. Then replace the grip panels. Now is a good time to test to make sure everything still works as expected. Make sure the hammer can only cock back when the safety's off. Make sure the safety can move up and down and make sure that when you pull the trigger, the hammer only drops when the safety is off. If that's the case, then cock the hammer back one last time. Reattach the barrel and bolt to the lower. And then you're done. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video or requests for future videos or anything you want to say, be sure to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe and the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get notifications whenever we upload new content. You can also find us elsewhere on the internet like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can find this product and a whole bunch of other products for a wide variety of firearms at www.tandemcross.com. See ya. Thank you.